Hello, welcome to our virtual exhibition. My name is Peter and I would like to show you the machines that we have here on display. This is our SBML, the most popular machine from Lismac. It's a double-sided processing machine for deburring and edge rounding of laser cut parts, punched parts and HD plasma cut parts. It is possible to deburr and edge round the parts in one pass on both sides of the sheet. In the SBML it is possible to deburr parts from two sides in one pass. As you can see here we have some parts before processing. These parts have a burr and we have parts after processing. These parts are displayed here and you can see that the edges are burr free and have a small rounding. The machine is able to do this on both sides of the part in just one pass. So you can see here that also the outer and inner contours of the part have been deburred. As you can see it is also possible on the SBML to deburr and to round off parts where we have a laser film on the surface. It's possible to round off the edges without removing the laser film. This is also being done from both sides in one pass. The part next to that, you can see that we have some protrusions, some upforms on these parts which have been made with a punching machine. It is possible to deburr those parts without damaging the upforms and without taking off the laser film. So this is the SBML uh, in the normal configuration that we have it. So it comes also with a dust extraction system to extract all the dust which is created during the grinding and deburring process. Next to that we have the front of the machine. At the front of the machine we have the table which we used to feed the parts into the machine. The parts will come out at the back of the machine. Now this table is one meter wide. We also have it in 1.5 and even two meters wide. The advantage of this machine concept, as you see it here, is that it is a very compact unit. Uh, especially when you look at the fact that it is working from two sides in one pass. In the front of the machine we also have the con control screen. The control screen is there to set up the machine for processing the parts. Let's have a look inside of the SBML. Now as we are working from two sides we also have two doors for top and bottom. In the SBML we have tools from the top and from the bottom. These tools are the same on the top as on the bottom. So in the front we have an abrasive belt and the abrasive belt will make sure that we can grind away any upstanding burrs on the surface of the parts and um, after the deburring of those parts um, we can round off the edges and the rounding off of the edges is being done with brushes. When we fold away the abrasive belt head we can look into the machine and we can see the brushes in this machine we have two types of or two belts with brushes. One belt going clockwise, the other belt going counterclockwise, so that the tools will brush from all sides of the parts and round off the edges in a uniform way. Because we have cross belts in this machine and the parts are going underneath them, we have a very uniform wear of these brushes and the wear of the brushes is also measured in this machine so we can measure and even compensate for the wear of these tools so that we can get a very constant and uniform edge quality. To operate the SBML we use a touchscreen terminal. 
on the touchscreen terminal, we can have different settings depending on the sheets that we're trying to process. On this screen, we have a clear overview of all the heads in the machine and if they are engaged or not. So here we have the top heads and the bottom heads. In the front, we have the abrasive belts. At the back, we have the brushes. We can engage or simply disengage each head depending on if we cut the, prop the parts properly, yes or no. Um, if we have a little bit of burr, we can add the abrasive belt by simply adding that abrasive belt on the screen. It is also possible to change the speed of the process by just sliding the slider up or down. And it's also possible to change the thickness of the sheets that we're trying to process by simply pressing the field and adding a different value. We can also change the thickness of the materials that we're trying to process with our wireless ME5000 device. It's a wireless um, caliper which we can use to measure and actually set up the machine wirelessly, wirelessly. So we press send and the machine automatically sets itself up with the measured value that we just measured. When we look further onto our um, control unit, we have a, stop, a start and a stop button. We have an ethernet port, which we can use to hook the machine up to the internet. We also have an RFID keychain, and these RFID keys will allow us to set different user levels to the machine, meaning that certain, certain keys will unlock certain features that we have on the machines. Next to that, we have a USB port, which we can use to connect USB thumb drives to import and export programs from the machine. Or we can use the USB port to hook up a barcode scanner. The barcode scanner we can use to retrieve the programs that we have in the machine for certain parts that we um, have set up in the past. So for repeat orders, we can actually use the scanner to set up the machine just by simply scanning the code and the machine will retrieve the program that belongs to that code. This makes it super easy for the user to set up the machine and always get the right results. just came out of the machine and we can see that both sides have been treated in only one single step. Inner contours and outer contours have been deburred and rounded and now there is no risk anymore to hurt yourself.